My name is Ben Noble. I'm coming here from Phoenix, Arizona. I was in a motorcycle accident. The damage was just too extensive and ultimately they had to uh, remove the leg. The doctor said that when you lose your leg and it's kind of uh, planned, like you know whether you're a diabetic patient and, you, and they take it off, your body understands what's going on. But because mine, I just lost my leg. Um, the bone kept trying to grow to fix a broken leg and there was no leg to fix. So the whole bottom of my stump turned into a big mass of bone. I've had about four revision surgeries since and each time they, they take it a little bit further up. So every time I have one I've got to get a new socket because it doesn't fit anymore and so it's, uh, it's been about five years now but I really haven't used my leg much at all. So this is a high fidelity imager and this allows us to adjust the amount of pressure. We can measure the pressure with sensors and uh, we allow the tissue to come through the windows, the spaces in between these paddles. And we can either scan or cast the limb utilizing this device. And then once we have everything in place, you can see this is the shape of an actual limb that was measured. Uh, and then from there we can go ahead and, and create the actual interface. Randy's been working with me now, getting me fitted with uh, his new high fidelity socket. Hoping that it's going to make a big difference for me in terms of uh, my walking and getting me up out of this chair and getting me uh, a little bit more active. So the end of the femur is right there and so what we're really trying to do is control this femur as best we can and just trying to, just trying to contain the soft tissue um, and that's a, that's a, you know, it's a pretty difficult fit. There really hasn't been much advancements in, in sockets. You know, you can either do the lanyard that comes out and straps from the outside, or a pin that clips in, or a suction bag, or vacuum, all great systems, but it's all that same bucket type socket where your, your leg's just in the bucket. So this is the first time I've really seen something that was different from that. You can see the tissue bulging out of the interface from various angles. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to get in closer to where the bone is inside and lock it in place as opposed to allowing it to move back and forth. So if I hold the leg in place, go ahead and move around, Ben. If we put on the old prosthesis, I'd be able to hold this motionless and he'd be moving all around inside there. The socket is moving with him. That makes it feel more connected to him. It gives him a lot more stability and it also allows him to use less energy when he walks. So I'm really pleased with everything. Um, you know, the fit, the fit was great. Um, I felt real stable when walking. Um, I didn't really have to look so much at my foot uh, because it's it's tight up here. It doesn't it doesn't wiggle around when I'm walking. So I am much more confident about foot placement, and uh, I'm I'm excited. So now I'm just ready to get it home and uh, you know give it a whirl and and uh, get used to it and see, uh, see how much weight I can lose, get back down into uh, fighting shape.